On the menu today, we've got red wine and radicchio risotto and pork crackling with French tech sauce. Hang on, hang on, before you say anything, this is made with red wine, which is perfect for the risotto. Rolling. So, risotto. Some people don't seem to understand what a risotto is. It's cooking rice with a lot of stock until the starch comes out. And the more you put in into the liquid, the more you put in, the more flavor you get out of it. And you've got to be gentle, you've got to cook it slowly, surely, and then from the pot to the plate to the mouth. You can't stand there doing nothing. First things first, we're going to deal with the pork crack. Okay, so I've been keeping this pork skin or rind in the fridge for two days, uncovered, so it's nice and dry. You don't want any moisture on your pork rind, otherwise it won't crackle. So what I'm gonna do now is just some olive oil. Use your hands, massage it like you would massage your wife, and then a good amount of salt. I know it's a lot of salt, but trust me, it will help to get rid of all the excess moisture on that skin and put it at 250 for about 20 minutes or until it crackles. And then the salt that's on the skin, you can get rid of it later on and then put it on your risotto. Costanio uh. risotto, olive oil. Then shallots, you could cut the shallots like a little brinoise, but I decided to slice them for a little bit more texture. So I'm just gonna cook the shallots a little bit. Now risotto. There's three different types of risotto you can use. I think they're different, but really the same sign. If you're a professional Italian chef, sure you know the difference, but you wouldn't. Okay, so now we've got the olive oil and the shallots cooking. I'm gonna add the risotto. And what you need to do right now is to make sure that you're warming up the rice and make sure that every grains have got a little bit of olive oil around it. At this stage, I'm gonna put salt and pepper. That's the pepper. <laughs> I often make that mistake, but I like. And to this, because it's a red wine risotto, guess what is next? A little bit of red wine. Now, when I say a little bit of red wine, do not be shocked with me. I'm gonna use, uh, the red wine you can use is Cap Sav or Shiraz because it's, it's a, a full bodied and quite rich and really, really red and purple. And many, many minutes later. You know this, Red wine radicure risotto. I think I'm gonna rename it to the one whole bottle of red wine manage risotto. You might think I'm crazy, but basically I'm using the red wine instead of using a stock. Though that we're putting a little bit stock into this risotto, this red wine is the flavor that I want my risotto to become. While cooking risotto, you need to look at it and understand it that not only the stock or the wine or the liquid evaporates, but it also gets um, soaked by the, the grain of the rice. So if it boils too quick, then the liquid evaporates before the, the, the rice has the time to absorb the stock. So make sure it just simmers. And then as the stock reduces, then you add a little bit more and so on. It takes about 20 minutes to cook a risotto from the beginning to the end. <clears throat> Basically what happens here is the starch comes out of the rice, the wine goes into the rice, and then they kind of bond together and make this beautiful, silky, delicious risotto. So, for this risotto that I've got here, maybe half of one is good for this recipe, all right? And then shred it very thin. See this? I don't know if you can see that. 
but the rind has reduced, but the starch has come out of the rice. So the viscosity has changed from this liquid, li liquid wine to a beautiful silky sauce so far. And look at the gorgeous deep purple. It's just like so inviting. So look at this. See this? There's just enough stock or enough sauce to really dance with the rice there, okay? It's cooked with a little tiny bit of bite behind it, which means to me, it's basically just about ready to serve. So there's a very small gap between being cooked and serving. It needs to be done straight away. So I'm gonna add in the radicule, which is this, now the same color of the rice. And then to finish, I'm gonna add the French steak, which is a red wine sauce base, just to make it even more special. Before I finish uh, the risotto, which is butter and parmesan, let's check the pork crackling, shall we? Oh, look at that. Obviously the curl, oh my God. Look at this, it's not dry, but the wine has somewhat evaporated and somewhat been absorbed by the rice and that's why it's so deep in color and beautiful. But the rice isn't cooked yet. So uh, instead of adding more wine, which be a bit too whiny like my ex-wife. Would you like some aloe vera? You just got burned. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of beef stock, ladle by ladle. Mm. So I just tried the rice now, and it's got a still got a bite to it, but I'd say it's got another five minutes or another two ladle of stock, and it will be perfect. Oh, I'm just prepping a little bit of chives to put on top of my risotto, and then, of course, we're gonna check if the cracking is ready. Pray for me, people. Oh, mon Dieu! Look at this. This is crackling, my friends. We've talked about the salt before. It's now that you can get rid of it. Not all of it, but most of it, you see? So don't be worried about salting. Mm. Salting your rind because you can get rid of the salt afterwards. So now, listen to this. Look at this, oh, look, 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 look. Right. That is gonna give you some saltiness, but most importantly, it's gonna give you some texture on something that's quite loose and soupy and without much, you know, as I said, textures. To finish your risotto, butter and parmesan. That is the seasoning and also what binds the whole risotto thing together. I don't know about you, but I love making risotto and I love eating risotto. And you see this consistency there? It looks a little loose to a lot of people, but that's the way you have to eat risotto. Don't tell me there's another way, because I will fight with you. Can I tell you a real thing? When we do this video, there's a lot of things happening behind the scene after it's done. But when you do risotto, no time. This is now. Finish a little bit of lemon zest. That is probably the most beautiful, the most gorgeous, the most delicious red wine radicchio risotto with pork crackling I've ever done with a French. <laughs> <laughs> pork crackling and the 
French <laughs> steak sauce. <laughs> Made with a French steak sauce. Bon appétit.